Hello and welcome to BoilSportsNews.com. I'm Nicola McGeady and joining me now to discuss the weekend's Premier League action is Leon Blanche. Well, we were delighted to have the Premier League back last weekend, mm. but a bit disappointed because there was a lot of draws. I think there was about five draws, <laughs> so not yeah. the most exciting games. No. Although, of course, no surprise to see Manchester United winning. Surprise to see Bolton at the top of the Top of the yeah, it was, it, relish in that it was a, a good while. performance, Nicola, by Bolton away against Queen Park Rangers. I didn't see it coming. I thought QPR would have been good at home. Uh, but some very interesting yeah. games this week to get stuck into. Sunderland, Newcastle is first up at the Stadium of Lights. I suppose Joey Barton was the talking <laughs> point last weekend. Yeah. Will he cause more controversy at well, the Well, there's no doubt. Lights? Look, Joey Barton's, you know, he's very talented, um, but he also just seems to find trouble wherever he goes. Yeah. Um, this will be, there's no love lost between these two sides. No. It's a big derby. Yeah. Um, when you look at both teams, I think they would have snapped your hand off if you had it said to Newcastle, you'd get a point against Arsenal. And on the other side, Sunderland away to Liverpool, get a point. Both managers would have been happy. But I have a feeling here that Sunderland at home are going to pose Newcastle plenty of problems. I think they did well. They're really happy to get that a point against Liverpool. Yeah, they were. I mean, home. the game could have been over in the first half. Like, let's not uh, kid ourselves here. Liverpool should have been 4-0 up, but yeah. they weren't. Um, Wes Brown was... Very impressive to me. I think John O'Shea will come back into the reckoning. Will he get his game? It's a big choice for Steve Bruce. But at 11 to 10 for the home win, I know it's a derby, so it is it's tricky to see how it's going to go. 9 to 4 to draw, 13 to 5 Newcastle. But I just like Sunderland. I think they can beat Newcastle. And that'll be a great start uh, for Steve Bruce, who was under pressure after the way they finished last year. Four points out of a possible six, getting a point away at Anfield. And beating your arch rivals Newcastle, perfect start for the Black Cats. Okay, well Liverpool failed to impress at home this weekend. They have an even tougher encounter. They're on the road, they're against Arsenal. Although Arsenal will be feeling very deflated now, losing their star player to Barcelona. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how they play now this weekend. This is a big, big month mm. for Arsene Wenger. Um, Liverpool, as I said previously, they played very well the first half. I think they'll have no fear. You can expect the Arsenal side to be without the likes of... We know Fabregas is gone. Wiltshire is injured. Song will be suspended, as will Gervinho. Um, probably Nasri won't play because he could be gone to Man yeah. City by then. So this is a great time to play Arsenal. 9-4 yeah. to four Liverpool. It's a big price. It really is a big price. They haven't beaten Arsenal too many times away from home. But I think Andy Carroll looks fit. Suarez is a little bit tired after his heroics during the summer. He'll start. I was very impressed with Stuart Downing, as I was with Charlie Adam. I think Liverpool here at 9-4, to four, I wouldn't be back in Arsenal at 5-4. Yeah. Maybe the draw at 11-5 to five for some people out there who think Liverpool will be happy with a point. I think they can actually go and get all three. And that's not because I'm a Liverpool fan. I just think Arsenal have got severe problems. They had all the possession against Newcastle, but they only mustered two yeah. shots on goal. Goals are going to be a problem for Arsenal this year. And well, Chelsea will want to put points on the table after last weekend's disappointing draw. Um, they're playing West Brom. Manchester United disposes them pretty easily. Surely Chelsea will do the same. Well, I don't know about Man United disposing <laughs> of West Brom pretty easily. West Brom are a good side at the Hawthorns. On their travels, they have problems. Um, Chelsea were unlucky not to beat Stoke in my yeah. mind. They should have had at least one penalty. But it goes to show you how much pressure these referees are under in real time. Mm. Even when the boys in the studio, Gary Neville and Jamie Redknapp, were calling for a penalty, saying it wasn't a penalty. When you look back at it, it's very difficult. I fancy Chelsea here very strongly. Torres, it has to be said, looked a little he bit did like look a little bit better. him old self. But the problem Chelsea have, and until they sort this out, they've got to get with. Because it's all down the middle. And there's no creativity out wide. Stoke were very happy to put their four mm. defenders almost across the 18-yard box. I think Chelsea will win here and they'll be looking for a good home performance for their new manager. Great to see him dropping Drogba, dropping an Elke. He doesn't care who you are or what your name is. He will mm. pick the team that he feels is right. And I think this Vias Boas is going to be a huge success at Chelsea if he's given time. But they will beat West Brom at 2-7. to seven. No doubt in my mind about that. OK, and last but not least, we're off to Old Trafford where Manchester United will welcome Spurs. It'll be interesting to see how Spurs play. We haven't seen them yet. Obviously, yeah. that game was called off. Man United, I suppose, they had 
a lot of people think they're going to go on an unbeaten run again as they did last year. What do you see this game? I What's see there might be a few problems here for Manchester United and the reason being they've lost their first choice central defensive partnership. Mm. Ferdinand and Vidic will both miss this game. Now if you take into account one of the twins, um, I can't remember who plays Rightful, whatever his name is, he's out for 10 weeks as well. So you've got three of your first four at the back not playing. The goalkeeper, I'm not going to criticise a young kid. He's only 20. He was under a lot of pressure. He and is, the crowd were giving him a hard yeah, time. Yeah, they were giving him a hard time. But this is what happens when you move to the Champions for a big price tag. People expect you to slot in immediately. I think Alex Ferguson has protected him in the media, rightly so. Um, I can see Manchester United. They have a great record against Spurs. It's almost like you write it down as three points. I think United have problems at the back. Whereas they're very strong going forward. Mm. I think Ashley Young has been a brilliant signing. Yeah. Him and Nanny on both wings. Um, Rooney and probably Berbatov starting up front. It's lethal. It really is strong. There's going to be plenty of goals in this game. But I'm going to go for Spurs to nick a point at Old Trafford because of the disruptions to United's yeah. back four. 13-5 to five, to me represents better value than trying to back the champions at 6-4 to four on. So goals in this game... But a draw for me, Spurs to nick a point and give everyone else a bit of a chance in the Premier League. Okay.